and uh, days of the year you were saying that we uh... Uh, yes we need to celebrate world whiskey day absolutely yeah. so we'll be committing to that at some point today yeah i'm still waiting for them to make non-alcoholic whiskey uh, is that is that whiskey though <laughs> well non-alcoholic beer is non-alcoholic beer can I just say, I mean, today, I'll go through today's stuff, but tomorrow is National Dance Like a Chicken Day. <laughs> Do you know that song? I know, I, I know somebody, yeah, chicken dance. I know somebody <laughs> who's like, who's planning to open up a poultry business. Poultry? Okay. Yeah. And going into the chicken farming. Oh, uh, no, I'm not going into chicken farming. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> National Dance Like a Chicken Day start, started in Germany in the Oktoberfest. What was it dedicated to? It was just started because um, they wanted to get people going. It was actually written, that song was written in the 1950s. Oh, the wow. chicken dance has been going around for a long time. Mm. It predates us. Wow. Anyway, that's only tomorrow. I was looking back on this day in history. And you mentioned McDonald's earlier. Yes. The first McDonald's fast food restaurant opened today on this date in which year? I don't know. 1970 yeah. something. Can't, isn't that in sometime late 60s? I don't know. I don't even have a... Smack and Richard Dick <laughs> McDonald Open McDonald's Barbecue in San Bernardino. There's a movie about it, actually. Oh, okay. <clears throat> you know, how it went, uh, how it got big. Because it was just uh, Mac and Dick with their first restaurant. They changed the, the, the style of, uh, of, a, of a drive through kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, the year is, <coughs> drum roll, please. The world's largest fast food chain started at the first opening on this day in 1940. 1940. Yeah. They, I would never have guessed that. Concerns. I would never have guessed that. Yeah. Yeah. The f oh, I've got so many of these dates. The world's first machine gun is patented when? <laughs> uh, 1800 sometime. 1800s? Gatling gun? 18. Yeah, Gatling. Because I remember they had those Gatling guns. 25.4 millimeter caliber puckle, puckle for gun. the use on ships. It was designed for two bullet types, blah, 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 blah. But yes, it was there <laughs> blah, blah, to, blah. To, to try and shoot down ships by penetrating the hole just below the sea, sea, uh, sea level. Okay. okay. Anyway, yeah. this day, nearly 100 years ago, seven years time, will be 100 years, is the first Mickey Mouse film. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And the last one on these boring topics is <laughs> at which year <laughs> <laughs> was the first airline stewardess? Or when, when was the first, what year was the first stewardess uh, officially hired to go on duty in service uh, passengers on a plane? I would say 30s. Yeah. Commercial F flight, 30s. I don't know. We're like, I mean, when was the first commercial flight? Well, I think well, there, this is it. There was a lot of private stuff as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For well, the rich and famous. Yeah, I don't know. Like Forty uh, mm -hmm. nineteen fifty. Because in those days, they used to have different compartments for the <laughs> for the longer haul flights. You'd mm. have a seating area, and then you'd have a lounge area, and then you'd have a dining area. So you'd move about the plane to these different zones. Yeah, uh, like a good old train, like a train. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there was only one class because there was only one class they could afford. It. Afford it, yeah. Anyway, Ellen Church and her team served snacks on a United Airlines flight from Oakland to Chicago in 1930. <laughs> You were close, dude. Well done. The flight attendants <clears throat> were also responsible for refueling the aircraft, <laughs> luggage, and checking tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen, Ellen, just plug it in. Just yeah. Plug it in. Yeah. You see? You see? 
There was equality back then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. It's Andy Murray's birthday today. Happy birthday, Andy Murray. Um, but other than that, I'm going to. Who's go and Andy find Murray? Some. The uh, <laughs> tennis player. The tennis player, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. I actually listened to a good podcast the other day where they interviewed his mother. Oh, you did say so? Yeah, yeah. and? What did she well, say? A lot. It's, it's a lot about the challenges that she faced. Tennis in Scotland just wasn't a big thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, she, she, she used to play tennis and, and fairly well. Her mother did. And her sons showed promise. And she, they didn't realize how good the sons were until later on. But mm. she had to go through lots of things to get there. Like like the two, like Andy Murray and his brother were, um, uh, they, they went to school in Dunblane and there was a school shooting. Oh, they yes. They were there. So they've, they've had loads of this kind of stuff. And it was she just mm. goes through, you know, what happened and all the adversities and challenges they've had to overcome to, to get uh, their boys to the top flight. Mm. Yeah. And, uh, the sacrifices you've got to make. I mean, you just don't even think about this. Is that why you're so grumpy? She didn't really, they didn't really touch on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's got the personality of a cardboard box. Yeah. What was it? There's a DJ on one of the radio stations here. And uh, every time that Andy Murray wants something and they'd interview him, mm. he's like, the guy sounds exactly the same when he wins something or goes out in the first round. Yeah. He sounds exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. 